Hi everyone, I'm Ali Reza Goli and this is One Minute with Valves. Today I'm gonna talk about the offset butterfly valves as one of the common types of valve in a huge number of industries, like oil and natural gas, petrochemical, cryogenic and industrial gas like oxygen and argon, water and wastewater and other process applications. Let's get started and see what the concept of these valves and the main features are. This is a shiny sample of triple offset butterfly valve in stainless steel material. See the parts, body, disc, stem, seat and seat retainer, gland flange and top flange. Here see the lugs as connection devices. This is not all, there are other connection options as well, double flange and butt weld. Let's see where exactly these valves are in terms of applicable standard. API 609 category B is the main one. Of course, AWWA C504 and MSS SP67 are other applicable standards for offset butterfly valves. Now we are looking into the offset concept for double and triple offset butterfly valves. The first one is concentric, without any offset. Second one, double offset, and the third one with additional offset in seed angle. Let's check it out in more detail. The first two offsets from disc and pipe center lines help to apply camming, camming action means adding inherent displacement to the rotational motion. The result would be less rubbing between disc and cis comparing to concentric butterfly valves. The third offset in the seat angles, machined like uply conical angle helps for more tightness, even when the valve is metal to metal. One side angle seat imposes enough force to disc toward the flat side seat for efficient tightness. The special seat design and more complicated machining of it would be the main reason triple offset butterfly valves are more efficient and thus more expensive. The price is usually 20 to 30 percent higher than similar double offset model. This type of valve is much more handy and economical when the process engineers are looking for a low head loss valve for large CV flow at higher pressure and or temperature. They have also the capability to offer tightness class 5 and even with floating seat class 6. When precisely designed and manufactured, they can be shut off valves. To wrap it up, let's see again how the valve offset prevent rubbing between disc and seat. As you see, there is not any rubbing indication in triple offset butterfly valve, and the contact of disc and seat is only at the end of a stroke. However, for concentric butterfly valve, rubbing can occur within 10% of a stroke when closing. It is much less in double offset type, but it's still there for the last 2-3 degrees. Don't forget that triple offset butterfly valves are torque seated and better tightness can be provided by more applied torque. But watch out, not much more to damage it. Thank you for attention. Please see the challenge question and let me and others know your idea in comments for more discussion.